If you're a queen and king, put your hands up. If you're a queen and king, put your hands up. Cause I'm back, back, back with another video. So I'm back with another video, y'all. I'm laying my edges. That's why I got my headband on. I say Queen K Hollywood or whatever. So I'm literally like this. This is like a simple look. Like I'm just doing simple colors, y'all. See, I just did two shades. Um. I was like some to be honest this is kind of like my go-to look like without the eyeshadow though today I just want to be a little extra but usually I do something around these lines like I didn't do something real real extra like it was real simple like I'm the type of person like I be doing simple looks but there's days where I want to be extra but today was the day that I wanted to you know be simple but like bada bing bada boom like glam at the same time you know what i mean y'all know what i'm saying y'all feel me anybody else but yeah so i'm gonna be quiet you know i'm gonna be popping in and out popping in and out but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe love y'all Y'all, guess what? I'm going to BeautyCon LA. Who's going to BeautyCon LA? Like, I'm mad hype. I'm mad excited. It's my first time going to LA. And I'm, like, super excited. I ordered my tickets today. I'm hoping we don't got problems with the bag this um, in LA. Because I know there was problems with the bag. You know, people having different bags. But hold on. Let me tell y'all. So, I'm going in with, like, a darker red. This is in rose. Actually got this from beautycon in one of the companies but yeah so i'm using like a darker red in my um crease but yeah so like there was problems with the bag you know they was not all the bags weren't the same so i'm hoping beautycon la all the bags are the same and they're giving us 200 dollars worth of stuff but i'm definitely gonna do a um I'm definitely gonna do a, a what's in my Beautycon bag, but Beautycon LA is not until August, but I'm super hyped and excited, and now I'm just blending out all the eyeshadows, because y'all know blending is key, no harsh lines over here. Y'all, I'm really feeling these eyeshadows from this brand. I think it's Zoe. Zoe, I think that's what it is. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not really good with names, but I believe that's what it is. And it's super pigmented. I mean, I did spray my um, brush with water, but these um, shadows are very pigmented. Like, they're very, they're bomb. Like, I, they're bomb. It was my act first time actually using it and it's bomb and y'all so i'm definitely getting a camera before august because i said i need to get a camera um a good like high quality camera before i go to beautycon because i want the quality to be bomb plus when i'm vlogging and stuff first time in la like i just want the quality to bomb um to be bomb like um i need a camera it's way overdue so i'm excited to get a camera i've still been doing my research on cameras like the best cameras and stuff so i'm really hyped to finally get a camera and i know this like my shadows like i be it's be kind of like a cut crease but not a cut crease but i don't know i just i don't know i always be accidentally doing cut crease like i don't know how to explain it like you know what i mean like i just Oh, I just I love cut crease. Okay, it fit with my eyes. It fit with my eyes. Almost cut crease, cut crease, whatever. But yeah, so now I'm just like blending everything together, you know, making sure there's no harsh lines. And now I'm going in the next cosmetics 
liquid liner in matte you already know this is my favorite eyeliner like every time i do eyeliner i always use this eyeliner i'm never gonna stop using this eyeliner i don't know how many times i gotta say it but i do want to try the fancy dot liner but yeah already have an eyeliner tutorial i might do another one but yeah now we about to move on to the foundation i already primed my face um with of course cocoa butter and i also use the makeup forever primer and if you haven't watched my foundation routine go check out my foundation routine Don't forget babies to make sure your beauty blender is damp like that's the key you can't blend your your foundation flawlessly if it's not damped it gotta be damped and now i'm using the can't stop won't stop concealer i've been loving this concealer but what i've been noticing is that a little goes a long way so i don't really have to bring the concealer all the way down like that because i'm telling you like a little goes a long way and it's kind of like a full coverage concealer so i, I really i need to stop overdoing it and go in hand with the concealer sis but yeah But y'all already know I'm using my favorite highlighter, Fenty Beauty. I use that literally every single video, the Fenty Beauty highlighter light. So I love it so much. I want to try the diamond one. I think it's diamond. I forgot what it's called, but I want to try that. But now it's time to do my hair, flattering my hair, because it was looking crazy. I already, like, flattened out the lace, and now it's time to, like, you know, add a bump to the, to the, um, to the hair, you know, add some life or whatever. But yeah.
really does help melt the lace like it really helps melt the lace and you know make everything look natural and come together like i'm telling y'all like get a hot comb with hot comb. but i do kind of wish rather like the hot comb that um you know you put on a stove but this one's fine i mean it gets hot i guess it's all right but you know get a hot comb sis because the hot comb will melt your lace And now I'm just, you know, putting concealer on the part because I feel like it just needed to be a little more natural or maybe I just wanted to be extra. Right, let me just be real. I just wanted to be more extra and I just wanted some more flavor. I just wanted to look more natural.